Welcome back. No doubt you've heard of photosynthesis. This is the process by which plants use sunlight to transform water and carbon dioxide into glucose and oxygen. This is an incredibly important process. Plants use that glucose as their energy to grow, and the oxygen that's produced as a byproduct is what we breathe. You can see photosynthesis happen and plants producing oxygen. This is best observed with aquatic plants, and that is what today's experiment is all about. You need a large container to hold water, such as a large measuring jug, a few beakers of water, um, ideally a see-through funnel if you can get one, a test tube, and some pondweed. This experiment is quite simple. The first step is to put some pieces of pondweed into your container. So let's just pop a few of these in. These hopefully are going to photosynthesize for us and produce lots of oxygen bubbles. So let's put those in here. You have to find a funnel that just fits inside your container. And I think, yep, this one will do just nicely. You've got to angle it really carefully so all of the pondweed is below the funnel. And this is why having a transparent funnel is important because light has to pass through the funnel and actually illuminate the plants they photosynthesize. So you really need to find a glass funnel if you can. The next step is carefully fill up your container with lots of water. The more the better. Try and get it as high to the top of the container as you can because you'll, you'll see why in a second. You might have to hold the funnel down as you do this. Let's put in a little bit more. There we go, I think that's about as full as I can get it. And next, the tricky bit. So what you have to do is get a test tube, put it into the container, fill it with water, put your thumb or finger over it, and then put it on top of the funnel so it stays full. Now, if you look really closely, you'll see the funnel then leads straight into that test tube. You're ready to go. You then need a bright light source, such as a desk lamp, and you've got to put it as close to your container as you possibly can. Then you have to leave it for an hour or two. Look really carefully at the plants and see if anything happens or anything changes. Run this experiment at home over the next two weeks and send in photos of your pondweed and any oxygen that it's produced that it should collect in this test tube. We've got three 50 pound Amazon gift voucher prizes to give away for the winning entries. Join me in two weeks time and we'll look at the results of my experiment and see if my pondweed has photosynthesized and produced any oxygen. Good luck and see you next time.